Stave Jakes with the Collective and and Albert Cam with the Collective <laughs> and Mr. Cam. Hello. And it's race day number two. We're heading into the pit area right now. I know. Uh, sorry for for the the muffledness with the mask, but it's mandatory. We have to wear the mask as we're walking away. Everyone's putting their mask on, so should be a great day. The weather here is absolutely mint, so I'm I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, we're gonna be falling around uh, Josh Greco for today, and uh, maybe some other guys. We'll see uh, what we're allowed to do. Uh, we're gonna follow the rules. Um, but yeah, we want to get some more behind the scenes stuff. Show you guys what these what what the pro riders put into their daily routines at the race. It's pretty intensive, and uh, it's also a lot of fun. So we want to make sure that you guys uh, continue to keep checking it out. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. We want to get the subscriber count up to be able to do more cool things for you guys, especially with these nerds, um, like, like AJ Catanzaro right over there. Uh, yeah, we're gonna check in with the, uh, with the guys and then uh, get back to you. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. And we got a little... I got a little warm up in. Got a little warm up. Shit's weak. Oh, Who's this 330 slowpoke we're playing with, dude? Who I don't is? know. There's the only option in the game. His bike is sick, but man, his striding skills, I don't know. Yeah. Alright, so what's this total deal we got going on? We got Rod Bell, we got Alex Ray, Jeremy Smith, and Ken Zaro, but we've, what are these totals? Uh, that's, that's the amount of money that they've cost us in the first round. Um, we're trying to think of a punishment for Salt Lake. We're thinking that uh, the rider who's got the highest parts allowance that uh, they got to wash all four bikes in a speedo all at Salt Lake. Speed. So, team manager, you approve of this? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> cost me money. You're gonna wash my bikes. All right. So, who do you think is gonna be the one that has to wear the speedo? If you have to pick anyone, any four of your riders. Um. Well, I mean, I'll look at the start. I mean, Rob Bell's winning right now, so I mean, I guess Rob Bell's gonna be in the run of the money. Oh, I dude. really thought it was gonna be a clean sweep with Alex, but you know, I, <laughs> Justin's not gonna take no for an answer. It looks like, and uh, it was to be top. Rob but there's also, there. you know, there's there's, there's, there's some time. There's, there's some time. time. We, got, we got what? Fifteen more of these things? There's I, time. I'm curious to see if AJ will even hit above a hundred dollars. <laughs> we'll see. We will see. All right, we got Mr. Josh Greco. Finally up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why I like super dress. I get to sleep in in the mornings. Right. How are we feeling after last week, dude? You rode pretty good, man. I was pretty stoked on it. I feel good. I rode better than I expected coming into it with such little preparation. Um, but everyone's so close. Tuesday could be a different story. Who knows, really? <laughs> I mean, every, every week's a new thing, so... Uh, We'll see. Hopefully we can do it again and do it again and do it again. But uh, yeah, every week's a challenge. Yeah. Everyone's on it this year. We'll, we'll get in. Don't even, oh, I'm not even stress, dude. I, one thing I will stress, though. I see this bike, right? Pretty pretty decent. I see Schmitz. Correct, we have one ride on the bike, dude, and it looks thrash. Well, <laughs> the new gear. The new gear puts a rub on Okay, okay. I'll give you that. I'll give I you just, that. I just got to... Clean it a little better. I mean, I pulled off the LCQ and just sprayed it off in the dark last <laughs> night or Saturday night. So, uh, yeah, we didn't get much time to wash. So, uh, other than that, I mean, it ain't thrash. She's just ready to go. Here again. we go. She's pre broken in. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> yeah, no blue, no markers. No crossing the blue markers, dude. <laughs> oh, they got that one up? You like my sweet hole shot device, too? The non existent one? Yeah, it just saves weight. <laughs> probably whole shot at me anyway because I blew off the track. Yep, I passed you in the first corner. Yeah. Just kept going straight like, oh, I don't like turns. <laughs> no, when they're not free, they ain't for me. Yeah. <laughs> now we're on that privateer budget, so uh, I'm waiting on some. They'll be in in February. We'll get it, we'll get it going. Pro Taper set me up with that uh, self-setting self one yeah. since I never have a mechanic with me. <laughs> yeah. That's right, that's good. I emailed hey. them and was just like, hey, like, I see you guys got one of those. Good selling point for them. Can I show you something? Right? Because you never have a mechanic with you. That's what white boots look like. I know. Those are white boots. Yeah, they are. In case you're wondering. <laughs> These bikes look good, actually. They look great, dude. Schmitz is sick. Bands is pretty cool. Gold chains, gold accents. Like, it's solid. 
I like them. You guys have yeah. gold chains? Come on, buddy. How are you? You look good on Saturday. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> it's just a little rusty. Yeah, me too, dude. I don't know what crap going on. So. You know how it is, too. I'm, I'm on the same boat with you. I'm working with kids during the week, like, literally full time. Like, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I got Like, the riding kind of stays with you, but for me, and it's probably the same for you, it's like, dude, it's just awesome. So this year we don't have track walk, we have track viewing. <laughs> yeah, we get two sight laps. I mean, that's more than enough. AJ complained last week. What do you, how do you feel I about like it? I like it. I honestly wish we didn't get to view the track. And our first time qualifier, or our first free practice was our only time qualifier. Because I'll go out and rip the triple first lap. <laughs> so the less amount of track time everyone else gets, the better the I do. The better you do. <laughs> So here we go. Track's looking pretty solid. As you can see we're going reverse now. Going reverse and what's that over there? We got the infamous sand section. Looking pretty good. Solid though. You like the walls into the sand? Some good rhythms solid so yeah we do have some whoops heading into the finish line so i asked aj and uh and cam on the way over if we had a gnarly whoop section like this last uh, saturday would barsha still run away with this thing or would roxon be able to get around them or would the race change at all no wouldn't have changed um barsha looks solid I don't know if he had a fire under him for the first round three peat. Um, I mean, hopefully he rides like that all season, but uh, we'll see. Everyone's on it, so anything can happen. I mean, the red plate coming into this one basically got lapped, so anything can happen. I agree, and it will. <laughs> Track looks good, though, man. How much you want to bet Webb goes dragging back to table? Oh my gosh, you think so? Someone he, someone does, and I think he's the one that always did something weird like that. So what do you think? Uh, pop off the... Can you even get any lift off the first one? Or is it just all momentum based? It's no momentum based. It's crazy. They're, those are small too. They're, they're shallow. Mm. Yeah, this honestly... If you go over one, you're doubling and then ripping into the corner. And if you're going over two, you're jumping the start. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's what the, those guys will be doing. Yeah. I'm going to, uh, like, mad skill it, wheels on the ground, as much as possible, fast, safe. Safe. That's, there we go. You know, to me, nothing looks better than, like, a freshly prepped Supercross track, man. Like, yeah, I never get to ride that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because you guys are out, yeah. Always the last one. Yeah, yeah, always the last one. What's happening, dude? The wish it. Sick hey buddy. Sick hey buddy. <laughs> uh, Alright guys, so every year, what was it? The last couple of years, every race Frenchie gives me a French word to learn. So yeah. this, this is gonna be Frenchie's French corner. What's the French word for me to learn this week? Um Bonjour, bienvenue au Supercross. Bonjour. Bienvenue au Bienvenue Supercross. Supercross. Welcome to Supercross. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Tim Canzaro. Dave Drakes. A lot of your students don't wear knee braces or knee pads. So when making the decision between knee braces and knee pads, what's the deciding factor for you? Because I, I'll, I'll, I've had both. I love knee braces, but I know you enjoy these softer, more knee paddy type deals. I do, but I mean, I, I wore braces my whole career. So I, my suggestion is if you wear nothing, go to something like this first. Um, because if you go straight to a brace, you're gonna hate it, and then you're probably just gonna go back to wearing nothing, which I'm pretty sure that's what Cam said that he did, because they're gonna feel way too gnarly. Um, start with this, if you wanna progress to a brace, you can. I went back to these just because they give me a better feel on the bike. I still feel safe in them. Um, 
I don't know. Some people think I'm crazy, but I, I, I really like these. I just have such a grip on the bike, so. And if you want them, you could go to EBS.com and there's a promo code that I have and I just- Does he know it? I don't know it. It's I don't like know 17 it. characters. It's, oh it is. Yeah, <laughs> there's no, okay, that's, I can never, I can never remember it. But if you want, send me a message on Instagram or YouTube or whatever and I'll send you the promo code to get 30% off of these bad boys. These are the TP199 Knee Shin Guard. Highly recommend. And they're cheap. Inexpensive, not cheap. <laughs> Oh yeah, she's squatting over there, boys. <laughs> yeah, keep, keep going, keep going, keep going. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Bike looks good. Thank you. Looks awesome, man. At first, I, I wasn't fully in love with red, but yeah. no, I'm really liking it. How do you like that compared to the uh, the Husky? I think it's great. Minor differences. Just with the subframe. Yeah. The pipe, the seat. Subframe difference. The tank is a little different. Yeah. So it makes, it makes their own little difference. Yeah. With the updated linkage, which is nice. Yeah. So, I'm digging it. It looks good, dude. Thank you. Come on, ride up there. We could have done a few birds in the early season.
Josh Greco, we just had first untimed. How are we feeling after that first one? Uh, it's gonna be a tough day. I I feel like I'm pumping up more than I did on Saturday. Uh, I don't know if uh, it's a mental thing. I don't know if it's the red meat I ate last night. Um, who really knows? It could be just uh, a rough day, but we're gonna see how it goes. Uh, knock off a few seconds and try to put her in there. You'll be good. I'm not, I'm not worried. <laughs> Back with Greco. How'd you uh, how'd you make out in that last one? That that Q2 man, it's tough. Yeah, I mean we dropped a little bit of time, but uh, just couldn't make it happen. Everyone's so close. Uh, we were in the right second range, but needed a couple more tenths. So yeah, um, I'm pumping up like crazy. Uh, I feel worse than I felt at the first round. I don't know if it's a change in diet over the last few days, or uh, or just still feeling it from the first round or if the track's just that much more abusive this week, but uh, I couldn't hang on out there. Uh, we got it next weekend, no worries. Riding better than last year, so. Yeah. We'll, we'll make her happy next week. Uh, well, not even a week, full week. We got three days Three days, days. and we'll, we'll, be, we'll be back. Yeah. Keep an eye on this guy, guys. Yeah, definitely. What? We're back with Kate Clayson. Cade. Dave. Q2, it's, it's over. We're getting ready to head into uh, opening ceremonies, which I'm means- I'm in opening ceremonies? I qualified that good? No. Oh. Never. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> how are we feeling going into the uh, into the heats and hopefully uh, getting some top positions? How, how, how are we feeling? I've, I'm feeling better. Uh, you know, I was tell Fred and I were talking earlier. I think we're leaps and strides ahead of where we were last year. Uh, yeah. So I'm happy with that. You know, we're, we're trying to make progress. I know it's tough and pretty stacked right now, but I'm just happy that we're making progress and we're up there with guys that I should be up there with. And you know, if I get starts in LCQs and heat races, I should be up there battling for those spots. So that's the goal. It's just to be in contention, to be in the right position when I can, you know, make it happen for myself. So I know it's possible. I know I have the speed. You know, from 20th to where I qualified in 26th is like a second, not not even. So you know, it's not a lot. So it's easy to put yourself in a good position with a good start. Agreed. Uh, if we have to think about the winners for tonight, who are you calling for top three in the 450? Dude, you know what's crazy? Last week, I said it was either going to be Barsha, Roxon, or AC to win, and they went one, two, four. And I was very <laughs> proud of my picks. Very close. Um, but I'm going to say, you know, it's, it's so close up there that like a start could mean a lot. And I don't really know. I mean, it's hard to bet against Kenny right now. It's the beginning of the season. Yeah. So, but the track's not super technical. So, I mean, Zacho, calling it, <laughs> Zacho. Kenny, I'm one second, it. then Zacho. <laughs> I'm just jumping right across. You know? <laughs> who, 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 are you, who, are you, who are you calling, uh, Freddy? Who do you think's gonna win it uh, tonight in the 450? Uh, I'll go with Marcia. I think he Marcia. have the momentum, and yeah, definitely can do it. I'm going for, uh, I'm going for Roxon. Zacho Tomac. Oh, you wanted the full podium. 
Then you you asked that question. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, because I listen, and you know. So. You did say <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah. Okay. Didn't you? Yeah. Give me the rest All of them. Right, so I'm gonna go one. Zacho, Kenny, Tomac. Ready? Other so, two. Uh, Barsha. Yeah, Kenny and Zacho. Okay. Yeah. Let's see who's right. So we just saw Jet Lawrence win the first 250 main. Super dope, finally. Uh, it, it's a long time coming. I'm a big Jet fan, so it's super cool to see a HRC 250. When's the last time you saw an HRC 250 win a race? Andrew Short? Like 2005? Maybe. Or Carmichael? <laughs> like with the, the bird? With the thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's, too, like, that's like 50 class, I guess, now. Yeah. So. But uh, 250 main, or sorry, 450 main is going out now. Um, this thing is fogging up like crazy. Um, I'm calling Ken Roxon, Osborne, Sexton. Who you got? Oh. Who did you just say? Who did you just say? Oh, uh, Roxon, Osborne, Sexton. Uh, I'm gonna go. Roxon is a good pick for sure. Um, then second, I'm going to say Cinderella. Third, I'm going to say Mookie. Oh, okay. Video guy. Yeah, yeah, oh, is there a video guy right here? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> so many video guys. <laughs> so many video guys. Uh,